this is our next movie, right? Kenneth Kosi, Rapulana uh, Turner, and Jen uh, C. Pimo. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful movie, uh, After White Wedding. You know, it was very scary for us, and we were thinking to ourselves, After White Wedding, how do we then make it even better? It's just a very scary moment. It's an ambitious script, Paradise Stop. It's got action, it's got stunts, it's got guns, it's got crowds, it's got cops, it's got robbers, it's got a whole lot of uh, uh, kind of production stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry, Joy. You know what, honestly, I just got... I don't know what it is. When you ask me that question about what this movie was all about, I just... I'm to sleep. I don't know what it's all about. Nice. I'm stuck. 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 I'm about some small town with a string of IC, three votes fella, and a truck stop. I'm saying it's a little bit of 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 a little is that the mayor? It looks like the mayor. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Welcome to paradise. It's like a Roman! They have just stolen my bloody bucky. The fussy licky manyala fella, manyala. Put Miss Ling and Robert Tati. I'm gonna lose my job. Eta? Now the madam is out, eh? Yorks must go now. Paradise Stop deals with human beings. In this case, two men who are on very different sides of the law. One is a cop, and he's a clean cop. And the other one is on the other side of the law, which is in a kind of grey zone. And that's Kenneth, who makes up his own rules about what's right and what's wrong and mostly what drives him is what's right or wrong for him and for his family. Unfortunately, you know, he never went to school. He never went to school, this guy. But somehow he lacks beautiful things. What is a hermaphrodite? Why was... It's very biological, home the gam. Teacher said you must ask our parents if you don't know something. Well, it was a teacher who told you the Bible now, from Genesis to Revelation. Okay. I didn't get to where I am today because Benghazi by You know, of all the characters that I've played before, this is quite, yeah, he's, he's different. Uh, he's a guy whose marriage is falling apart, uh, He was once successful, you know. Everything, I mean, was going well for him. Unfortunately, uh, you know, he kind of like uh, got too close to the things that were going on, you know. He, with his bosses because he worked, he had uh, this internal affairs investigation that was going on and he was heading it. So he was demoted and uh, sent, actually decided to go and, you know, for the safety of his family, go to a small town and sort of start all over again. Do you have any suspects? No, I have not. Good. No, but Captain Bon, can I lead it lead? What are the case here? Can I go? Oh no, no, for the next day, the guy, the extra resources to work this case until it's solved. Can you refer for the original headquarters? Oh, couple of hours. Can't see the rest of it. There was a point where once we were researching a story for the BBC, and we looked into truck heists and truck hijacking. Um, and so we drew on a lot of that research that we've done for the story in Paradise Stop. 
This time around, I think we, we came up with all the guys, our friends, people that have been in the industry for a while. Mavuso Gunene, Sonia Sidibe, Mishek Mavuso, who plays a very wonderful character. Mavuso Mzane, Lillian Dube, Bob Prakopo, Bola Kili Khodi. Wonkus Twala, Mary Twala, Shamein Kwenyama, Kekito Smoko, Maduba, Lionel Newton, Albert and Leroy, and of course, introducing my daughter, Katle Hole Faladi. I like playing bad guys, but um, I'm really a good guy. It's just that I do bad guys so well, you know. <laughs> Being in this one is like, wow. I think they're doing a fantastic job. And uh, working with that crazy uh, Kenneth. I've, um, I've worked with Ravulano before, and we work very well together. So it's just, you know, it's just wonderful. It's, it's a kind of comedy that you don't even plan, that you don't even see. Uh, it just happens on its own. Um, and also, you know, just uh, working with Kenneth, it just makes the whole environment funny. Um, but also the way this, the script is written. It's not very serious, it's, it's about bad guys, but you know, you can laugh at the things they do, you know. And um, I'm, I'm not a funny person. You're not a funny person? No, I'm not, but <laughs> when I do this role, I feel funny. <laughs> Where did you hide the money? <laughs> All right, I'll rephrase that. We feel like we'll be mad. I saw White Wedding and I loved it. And I casted Rapulani in the passages of the SABC this one day. I was like, if you do the next movie and you don't cast me, I'm going to make your life miserable. I said that with a smile, of course. <laughs> and voila, there we are. <laughs> Filmmaking sets. This kind of thing happens all the time. Lights on, lights off. Is it hard playing a bitch? I'm never one. I've never been one. I don't know what it's like personally to be one. I try not to be too bitchy, but I try to play a very still coldness about Mushiri. So I try, I try and do that because I think I've seen bitchy over the top, very hard, very mean. I'm going to be mean. And I didn't want to do that with her. I wanted her to be... You're not sure if you like her. You see her walking past and you're like, hey! And then she opens her mouth and you're like, okay. What is it? I love you, but I love you. Wow. What's up, Mama? Maybe I might just join you for the bath. What's up? I'm really tired. Okay. Let's There's a slightly wealthier black family that's moved in in the kind of white suburb. And the great thing about Johnny is it's just like, how's it? And he fixes stuff and, um, you know, it's a neighbor. So I'm going to fix your pool and I'm going to fix, you know, that's because that's what you do. And the great thing about Johnny is he just keeps popping his head over, going like, what's going on here today, you know? Um, and checking out the neighborhood. Hey! Hey! Oh, the crates are gone. Oh my god, what am I going to do now? I'm Hey! Hey! I don't know why he's abused so much. He's such a sweet guy. I love Johnny. And everyone should love me, and they tie me up. What is that about? You're going to have to I need your help. I really need you to stop filming and scratch my nose right now. <laughs> That's it. Who does he always for? Who? Who Ben? Ah, who Ben? Who's he? The truck stop. And who does he? He's more like a right hand man. Ga Ben. And if who Ben wants to do like anything, that I'll say, he be God. He trusts who does he more. Uh, than the other guys. to take care of those truckers. More no violet. Ah, plus double gay bar to do. Yo. What's going on? Oh, 
Wewe uti tanga bwana nyanga za mau ukuthi ninga Tom. Say it. Ni Tom. I hung around a lot the, around the offices of uh, Stepping Stone Pictures. Um, this was about maybe four months ago, sort of helping out with admin here and there and here and there. Ar around the same time when they were writing the script. And um, sort of in return for my services, I was promised a part in this, in this film. So what happened was, is it was supposed to actually just be like a small little cameo role. Just like a, you know, in and out, in and out sort of thing. And then apparently the character, and was, every time when I walked into the office, Jan kept on coming up to me and saying, the character just keeps growing and growing and spreading and spreading and spreading. So I think that's how they basically came, <laughs> eventually came upon the name the Virus for it. Exactly, when Ole guy when they took your money? In the bar? Mm, not exactly. When about the bar To the steering wheel. Why? Because that's what he wanted, detective. What do you want? Did you want to be tied up? Ah, it's not about what we want. It's about the moolah. Oh, and I suppose you don't find that degrading towards women at all. Not gonna starvation, poverty, that's degrading. Jen, you're not directing. No, I've had enough. I said, Rhea, take the chair. No, Rhea is directing this scene because he's uh, training with us. He's our intern, so he's doing his first scene today. Concentrating, go away. Kenneth Raps and, and Jan, I think that, that what they've done for South African film has been incredible. I think for the first time, people are really taking South African stories um, uh, and just getting on with telling them um, in a smart, funny, sophisticated, yet accessible way. Even criticism that comes from Kenneth to me, you know, I take it with uh, a pinch of salt. Come, come here. Man. Oh, come on, man. I don't no, know. I've, I've never been hugged as a child. Okay. Come on. Come. So we talked to Jay Savage, who's our music supervisor, who knows, who's very much got his finger on the pulse of what's contemporary and what's happening. And uh, along with Jay and my editors and Raps and Kenny, we put together a selection of music that now ranges from, um, you know, uh, the Radio Kalahari Orchestra to Kulo de Song, which is very contemporary um, urban uh, music to. Um, Judith Sapuma, uh, to Oliver Mtukudzi. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely, again, a lovely range of artists with quite a range of sounds. Um, we also had a score this time, which, is, which was a, a great deal of fun to write. Um, Philip Miller, who's a f very talented South African composer, came to the picture and um, sat with Raps and Kenny and I and talked through where we wanted score and how that adds the third dimension. And tap once more, please. So it's first soft kiss, then she bites your lower lip. That's it, that's it, great. <laughs> wow, I've never been home for a while. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, Jen is beautiful. <laughs> you are beautiful, Kenneth. Jen, Jen, Jen is my baby. You are beautiful. Oh. She's, she's super cool, I mean, and I think in this movie, she just worked her butt off. Jen has worked so hard in this movie. I've never seen her working so hard. There are times where I thought that she was just gonna lose it completely and just go mad. I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna talk to my shrink about it and, and I'll, I'll have some time in a sanatorium that I've booked. And uh, hopefully I'll recover from the experience. Let me put it this way. I'll be as diplomatic as I possibly can. We are a company of three. And, uh, you know, we started writing movies together and, uh, you know, we have a common goal, let me put it that way. But there's this one particular person, I'm not going to mention names. He's so narcissistic. Everything is all about him. Every time 
The movie has to start with his name. Written by, it's his name, then comes mine, then Jen. The only time that his name doesn't appear, number one, is under directed by. Because there's only one person who's, who, who's directed this movie, and it's Jen. That was from the shoot, wasn't it? Yes. That was great. This is a We are filmmakers, so we work, we work out of here, and here, and uh, and that's what's very similar about Raps and Kenneth and I, and we're very different in lots of ways, and I think that's what makes our work good when we work together, is we bring a lot of difference to it, but we have a very similar kind of gut heart um, lead, and so. I think that the tone of Paradise Stop reflects a kind of mood that gets generated in the writer's room that's funny and dark. And it's only in retrospect that with great wisdom, you know, you can say, hmm, yes, that's that, you know. But the truth is we don't know what the hell we're doing when we're writing. We're just writing a story. Welcome to Paradise. Ben, hold on. Book -book. Uh, securities are top freight. Oh, your trucks are beautiful, eh? Okay, do, do you want something to drink? Do you buy any chance of cappuccino? Oh, of course. It's not a long killer. Huh? Maureen, come. This girl's pink, not, huh? Love it. Okay. Yeah, so it's been great so far, but this place is hot. Look at me. Yeah. Huh? 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 I'm not this black, man. No. I'm usually this black, not this black. Limpopo is hot, 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 hot. Uh, it's also beautiful. It's beautiful bush felt. Um, and the people uh, were very, very kind. Because when you get a, a big, sweaty, crazy film crew taking over parts of your town, it's quite an invasion. But people were great. Um, and we shot all over the little town of Mohopong and all over the roads around Mohopong. And we obviously used a lot of the locals as extras, which was nice because it kind of gives you the authenticity and it also means you're putting back a bit. We're working. Okay, Come yeah. on, just please, please, okay. please. Okay, here we go. I have pepper spray. And I I I I <laughs> Four days to go, including today. Yeah. And how are we feeling? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Less anxious. Much less anxious. Move it, guys. The <laughs> fuck up. Let's I go. <laughs> um, so logistically, it was very big. Um, and uh, and scary, you know, like you're kind of you're working your 12 hours of shooting or 14 or whatever it is, and then you go straight off set into a production meeting, sort out problems that have arisen, sort out budget, discuss, you know, where are we going to find the helicopter that we're supposed to be shooting next Thursday? Um, it was very ambitious. Um, and I think because we're all kind of very supportive of each other and we egg each other on, the wheels didn't come off. Um, they could have. And I think we've learned a lot from that. You know, the people on our crew um, just pulled things off that were miraculous. Um, and that's just magic to work with. Um, that, that's just so extraordinary. It's, it's indescribable when you, when you just see this team making, making literally magic. Which language did they speak? I told you, Brew, I don't know languages. Was it French? Oh, Vander. I don't know. Is there a difference? It's French. What's the version? I one of my one in the and I go 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 and
Well, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hey, I'm going to go to So, first and foremost, Paradise Stop is a South African film for South Africans. And I guess, very simply, we feel that if we can't entertain our audience, we're not going to entertain anybody. I'm very proud to be part of their next film. I'm very honored to be part of their next film. I think, it's, uh, I think what they're doing is incredible. It's been an absolute honor and a privilege to, to work with people as experienced and, and honestly as, as easygoing as people like Rapulana, Jan, and Kenneth. And the energy is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, everybody just feels very comfortable and very, very at ease. But we are hoping that we're making a beautiful movie. We're hoping that we're making a great movie for South Africa and the world. And uh, I think they want to enjoy it. It's not white wedding, but something that you definitely want to enjoy. It's bigger and better. Trust me, I mean it. Morning. Morning. The sun's in the sky. Look nice. And when I end up, I can choose to give it. Hey, man, but why they are too fast? Hey, 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 hey! Is everything all right here? Yes, Daddy. I'm good. The Chinese will get off. Oh! Do you think they care? about some small town with a string of IC, three votes fella, and a truck stop. I'm going to go to the house. It's a bar. That's one good. Let's get Papa Romeo while I'm responding to a crime in progress. I repeat, crime in progress. You're not mixed up in any funny business here, are you? Hey, hey, freeze! Is that the mayor? It looks like the mayor. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Welcome to paradise. It's like a Roman! They have just stolen my bloody bucky. The fussy little manyala fella, manyala. Goodness, Ninga, I'm over to I'm gonna lose my job. Eta? Now the madam is out, eh? Yorks must go now. You make it sound like you're running away from something. Aren't we all? <laughs>